We've got a semi-final to look forward to. I think they're pretty, pretty sort of settled in the league, really. They're not going to get near the playoffs. They're not going to go down. So, you know, if we can get on the front foot here and hopefully we, we catch them on a night where they're just a little bit too relaxed. Walsingham's 13th in the league. Their first visit in the league to the LNER Stadium. But their second visit here in four days. York City running for revenge. Holding him in a blue, blue away kit, gold sash, a little bit like Miss World or Mr. World. <laughs> um, they are shooting towards our fans in this first half, and they're the ones kicking us off. Uh, here, I think we'll have thought after Saturday that he may be rested for some time, and he'll be glad to be back on the pitch. Play in the centre circle at the moment. Headed forward, looking for Luke James. It'll fall nicely for Dyson. Lovely little header in front of him to run on to. He stuck that at goal. Luke James kind of wanted him to <laughs> play it in front of left Jamie O'Connor. Pybus and Hancock has got lots of space. Acres of space on the left to get across in. Almost the header there. It's going to fall kindly to York City on the far side. Another chance to get a ball in. Mats Kuya gets it between his feet. Has a shot oh. towards the far side. That was going in. Yeah, it was headed off the line, wasn't it? Really good player by, by Kuya. Yeah, it's been a positive start by York, hasn't it? <coughs> Much more positive than, than Saturday, where it took way too long to get into the game. Like I say, it should be York on the front foot, really. York has got everything to play for. Altrincham can afford to kind of relax at this stage of the season, which is a, a nice way to be. And I, might, I might have said they've conceded a lot more goals in York City, but they're a lot more comfortable on the table. That's the place I'd rather be. Just Lundstam on the right-hand side for Altingham. The overlap here with James Jones, the little cheeky back heel back to Lundstram. Well, he's done QER there, and he's got a good position on the byline to cross this one in low. Near post, easy goal, Altingham 1-0. The Robins are singing, York City fall silent. Yeah, and it was a, a simple goal, really. Really good play on the right-hand side, just completely sold uh, Kuya and then just had so much time didn't he to pick out his man and just a simple finish and they will let the players know about it yeah for me I think a big part of this for me is Maz Kuya here he is right now he's going to make a run down the centre Kuya might even try and take on the defender so he plays out to Hancock's left on edge of the penalty area to the far post and the oh, header goes over successful so for a good one here from the left-hand side for York City. It's a good delivery drilled into the six-yard box, headed out by Lundstram. Another chance to get it in from the right. Chip ball and keepers forced to knock that one over his bar. If we could have, we would have started with him. It's down to Manny, James, Maz and Co to do something. Near post header. Oh. Just we got a glance to it. In particularly in the championship, Blackpool three, Queen's Park Rangers nil. Blackpool doing themselves no harm whatsoever there in the relegation zone in the championship winning 3-0. Oh. Oh, he's asked, asked too much of him really. Oh he's given away by Altingham to Kuya. Kuya went down the centre this time. Kuya still going with between a couple of players. Edge of a D. His shot was blocked but he's done well to get the corner. Yeah. Oh. Jones for Altingham to Osborne. Eddie Jones, it's time to Oyadeli. Altingham have escaped, being hemmed in on the left-hand side, shot from a long, long way Ooh. out, and it was only just wide. So having won that, and won the free kick for York. Left-footed, Hancock's far post, almost beaten, almost first to the keeper. Burn just does enough to get it out, Pybus lofts it back in there, over Cooigan. Duke another header towards Kuwig and chests it down, scrambled away by the visitors. Only as far as Manny Duku once again. Hancocks, there's the cross, far post, there's the header saved. Wider angle, isn't it? Probably more fancies Hancocks to. Oh, maybe not. Kuya hits it goalwards, header from Duku just over the bar in the end from Kuwigan. Yeah, wow. Born. Field ball, but it's. Collected by Kuya and now Fallowfield's the guy in space on the right. Fallowfield coming into the area right hand side, options in the middle. Fallowfield puts it into Duku, miss kicks oh, it. Poor finish in the end, really, for Manny Duku. will be disappointed with that. You know, we talk about strikers not getting service and things like that. Oh, Sancox has been done there on the left hand side. 
Yeah, completely. Lundstrom plays it in and almost oh. there. It was a last-ditch tackle from Duckworth. The only thing that stopped Hugill. Incredible. He's got a point. Another long ball headed for Duku. Again, comfortable header out for Alti. Dyson, lovely turn on it. Dyson, 180 there. Plays the 1-2, gets it back in the D. Dyson, he's going to shoot. Oh, he's almost in the top it. corner. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, someone taking a grip of the game. So maybe the throw in from the left is a way to do that. It's a very high course that the throw took. So it's fairly easy for Altingham to clear. Oh, oh missed kick there as we tried the ball backwards. And hang on a minute, because in here, you're Altingham are one against one. It's Linney eventually. Defender comes back. Linney lays it off. Eddie oh. Jones it strikes it just wide. I think it's a real lifeline for York, that. Dyson coming forward again for York. Silly. He's gone down. I've been beating this man, so we'll get the free kick. Hancock's behind it. It's the shot over the bar from Pybus. Wasted. Which uh, do matter to us because we are still in the relegation battle. York coming forward here. Duckworth shoots right footed. Good save. Yeah, great effort by Michael Duckworth. Saw the gap, went for it. Maybe need someone alongside him who can do that, bring it out and make that killer pass. Garlifield hasn't had too much of the ball in the overlap this evening. But he might have a chance to get across here. Here is Fallerfield and Duckworth in the area. Duckworth, he's got Ford next to him. Ford turns, shoots, oh. saves the game well saved. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, there wasn't a lot of power on that. Still lots of players forward for the Minster men. Pybus poor cross. Out only as far as Crooks. Dyson, Ford, Ford. Yes! yes! Get in! Jack Ford! York City on level terms. And maybe, maybe on the road to revenge. Yeah, great finish by Shaq Ford. He's the one person you want it to fall to, don't you? Whereas we were saying before, some of the other chances maybe not falling to the right person, but Shaq Ford, which is in the box, he just... Uh, Paul and Ellen, uh, Ellen Miak in the stadium. So let's have a look at the, uh, the championship then. Oh, uh, no, no. no. First of all, that was still leading 5-1 in their match. Uh, Towards the centre. Sinclair wasn't too far off it. So we'll get another chance to cross it maybe back to Hume it's his right footed cross oh, header same. this time from Jones and he scored just as he did three days ago James Jones has scored again for Altingham and again it's 2-1 that the visitors lead well it's uh, almost an identical goal Paulin just from the other side just ball into the box looping header and here comes the next corner for York One forward. Mm -hmm. Duco almost with the header and the loose ball almost falling for Dyson trying to get hold of it. Dyson has another shot. So many Altingham players back though. No last opportunity for the Minster man. Not yet, Delhi. Hacks mm, it out. I think that'll be it for. Can't see who's getting the ball back now. He'll just go to the corner. Yeah, he might be tempted to run at goal, Hume here. But indeed, when Pybus comes across him. Plays it safe, it cuts in field, Hume still yeah. going, and look at the support of Eddie Jones, Eddie Jones is going to shoot. So, quickly to that, it's always like we're unlucky, but what is it now, something like four wins in 24 games, something like that. You can't say you're unlucky every week, the league table doesn't lie, and unfortunately oh, we are near the bottom of the table for a reason. We're not in the bottom four. But they've got to start picking up wins soon. And Dawkins, Dawkins, a big game Saturday. 